All right, guys, so when you're breaking down a word problem and you got to figure out what the equation is, what the problem is actually asking you for, a couple strategies you can do. First, we want to read the whole problem, make sure we understand what it's asking, what it's saying. Uh, there were five and five eighths pies left over from Thanksgiving. So Tori had three eighths of one of them, of one of the pies. Fitness buff that he is, always watching his figure, you know. Tay had one and three eighths of a pie, kind of a lot for that little fella. Gio and Cortez fought over one and five eighths of the pies. How much was left over for I said? Who said? I said. Great question. Now, we got to figure out what this is actually asking us. So first, what do we want to know? We want to know how much is left for a student. Do we need to know who the student is? Not really. That's not important. But we need to know the question, how much is left. So what was the total that we had? Well, there were five and five eighths. Does it matter that it's pies? No, it could be cookies, it could be cupcakes, it could be pizza. Does it matter it's from Thanksgiving? Not really. It could be from Christmas. It would be the same. Okay, I still get paid what I get paid. Jatori had three eighths of one of the pies. Does it matter who? No. But we've got three eighths now. So we have five and five eighths equals three eighths of one. He could be a fat kid, he could be a skinny kid, he could be seven feet tall, he could be three feet tall. Doesn't matter. Three eighths, say had one and three eighths of a pie. One and three eighths, that's the number we're looking for. Again, cross out the extra stuff. So we have three eighths plus one and three eighths. And then Gio and Cortez, again, doesn't matter who, one and five eighths. So we add those, that's really that plus. Plus uh, of the pies, how much was left? So we've pulled out the important details. Five and five eighths equals three eighths plus one and three eighths plus one and five eighths plus X plus how much? So that's how you break it down.